Welcome back everyone. This is Steve Smith at the Spark Observatory and we're continuing with our astrophotography processing. So we've done uh, noise reduction in uh, Russell Crumman's great noise exterminator, but maybe that's the results of that are not uh, what you had hoped for. We do have an alternative for that in PixInsight. There's another tool that is called the multi-scale linear transform. And don't be scared of all the, all the words there. Um, it's a pretty easy process to apply to your image to get the noise down, especially in the background. And you can apply it to your Lumen Master or your RGB Master. Um, you probably want to do both and do them the same way if you've decided that uh, you don't want to use the noise exterminator. So again, this is a replacement for a noise exterminator. And we're going to run over to PixInsight right now and see how the MLT tool works. So I will see you over in PixInsight. We are now in PixInsight and we're going to look at an alternative tool to using the uh, noise exterminator. And that is called Multiscale Linear Transform. So the first thing I want to do is actually want to go to our folder of images here. And I've relabeled the image that I had the noise exterminator applied to it. I've relabeled it from 3 to 3A because the new image that we're going to make with the multi-scale linear transform, I'm going to label that 3B to show me that I actually made two different options for um, how I want my noise dealt with. So to start with that, then I need to go back one level to the image that we have with Blur Exterminator, and I'm going to open that guy up because this is the one we want to apply the noise reduction to. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Go drag there, and then we'll go ahead and click the magnifying glass, and there we can see a little bit better. And I'll, I'm going to magnify even more when we look at the tool. So under process, we've got uh, multi-scale linear transform, this guy right there. And what this um, tool does is it looks at structures, the size of structures that are in the image um, from really small scale to really large scale. So really small scale, you might think of like a little pixel or something like that. And large scale would be something like this galaxy. And then in between you have stars of various sizes. Um, and maybe there's a, like a little galaxy, little spiral galaxy over here that might be considered and a couple more down here that might be considered kind of intermediate um, structures. So those are thought of as being in layers. So we have layer um, one through R and those layers are uh, assigned to different size structures in there. And we don't want to use the presets. Um, this is one of the tools in PixInsight that we want to do a little bit more precise way of doing the settings for the presets, especially with noise reduction. So if we were to, we've got layer one selected and what I can do is click noise reduction, which is what we want. And then we can adjust these, uh, the threshold and the amount um, and iterations, et cetera, how we want. But we have to do this, we wanna do this for the first four layers. And additionally, it's, it's kind of a pain to do each time. And additionally, we might wanna use MLT also for our RGB image when we get to that later on. This is the Lumen image. And we wanna make sure that we apply the same settings. So one of the nice things about PixInsight is if you do have presets that you want to change, that you want to change the parameters for, you can set that up in the tool and then you can save those presets as a new instance. And so the way that you would do that is you take the blue triangle down at the bottom left of the tool and you can see it's, it's telling me that it's a new instance. You would drag this to the desktop and then you can save this as whatever uh, whatever name you would like. So I already ha have done the presets and I want to give a shout out to Sean Nielsen at Visible Dark for the presets that I'm about to use. Um, he has some great videos on PixInsight and a lot of other things. I mentioned him in the very first video that I did for the Spark Observatory Astrophotography as being someone's uh, instructions that I look at very carefully and, and follow along with some other guys. Uh, other astrophotographers. And so the settings that I'm using for MLT, I am um, borrowing, stealing, plagiarizing from Sean. So I want to give a shout out to Sean for that. So where are those settings? Uh, for Spark Observatory students, I have a folder on the desktop 
called PI Preset Processes. PI stands for Pix Insight, of course. And I've got a couple in there. I'll keep adding to them as we go. One of them is Multi-Scale Linear Transform. All you have to do is double click on that and it'll put the little instance window in Pix Insight. Here it is down here and I have it labeled MLT. And then when you double click on it, the presets are um, in the tool. So they're the presets, especially for noise reduction. And you can see that a lot of this is, has been grayed out, but the presets are, are where I would like them to be. So first thing we need to do is we're going to apply noise reduction to mainly the background sky. So we want to protect the galaxy and we want to protect the stars. We don't need or want uh, a lot of noise reduction uh, in there. So you can think of noise reduction as kind of um, blurring out the kind of graininess that we have. And if we do that in the galaxy, we're going to blur out some of the detail that we have in the dust lanes and in some other areas of the galaxy. And we don't need them in stars at all. So we want to try and protect those. So the question then becomes, well, how do we apply a Pix Insight tool to an image, but only to part of the image? And we do that by using a mask. And we'll talk about masks even more in Photoshop, uh, but we use masks in, in Pix Insight as well. And so you can see that one of the options here that's checked out and that, that is not grayed out is linear mask. And so this preset, again, is where I would like it to be. We want to have a preview mask checked and we want to have inverted mask checked. And these presets are fine, although we're going to work with them in just a second. And we're going to open our preview window. So that's this uh, blue circle down at the bottom, real-time preview. And it's going to give us a preview of the mask. And what we want to do is we want to create a mask so that the areas that are affected are white and the areas that are black are protected. So in other words, anything that is going to be white in our image when we do the preview, anything that's white is going to be affected by the multi-scale linear transform. So anything that's in white um, is going to have noise reduction applied to it and anything in black is going to be protected from that. So right now you can see that our galaxy is not protected. It's mostly in white except for the core and we've got a couple stars that are um, protected, but most of the image is in white, which means if we were to apply the MLT to the whole image as it is, the noise reduction would apply to pretty much everywhere and we don't really want that because we want to protect our galaxy. So we want to use the amplification and smoothness sliders here to see if we can protect um, more of the galaxy. So I like to slide this pretty far over and um, get most of the galaxy. If I went the other way, you can see the entire image would be affected. So as we come out this way, we're getting more and more of the galaxy protected. And I went all the way out and we've got some stars in there as well. And if we do smoothness, you'll see that the smoothness just applies to kind of the areas, the edges of the objects that are in black to white. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit also because I want to protect as much as I can. So maybe down about there looks pretty good to me. So again, the noise reduction is only going to apply to the areas in our image that are in white here and anything in black is not going to be affected. And then we have some edging stuff, a little bit of edging stuff where there's some um, in between where, where some of the noise reduction is applied, um, but not at, not at full strength. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and close our real-time preview. And very often there's a mistake that can be made when you do this. It's not a big, big deal, but you just say, okay, I'm going to apply this to the entire image. So I take my triangle like I always do new instance, drag it over top of the image, and kaboom, that's what we get. So that is not actually what we want. And so we can go ahead and undo this. Um, you can either do uh, Control Z or come up here to image and undo. And we're back to where we are. So how did that happen? Well, we need to uncheck preview mask. So under linear mask in the tool, preview mask, and we're going to uncheck it. And now we can apply the noise reduction to the entire image. And we'll wait for PixInsight to do its thing. And then I want to show you what actually happens with this. We're going to zoom in quite a bit. And remember, we just applied noise reduction. And I want to go especially to the, 
where we can see some background sky and also some of the galaxy. So we've applied some noise reduction here. And you can um, undo by control Z and redo by control Y. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So here's control Z. I'm going to undo multi-scale linear transform. And you can see how grainy it is. And if I reapply it, much better, a lot more smoothed out. It's still a bit grainier than I'd like. We can fix that later on in Photoshop too. But again, this is without multi, with, without MLT and then with MLT. Or I should say with MLT and without MLT. So we wanna keep, uh, keep it there. And then if you look at the galaxy, at the, um, at the dust lane in the galaxy, remember that we kept that protected. So um, right now we have it applied. Now noise reduction is unapplied and we're not seeing any changes in the middle of the galaxy because our mask protected the galaxy. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and save this image and I'm gonna save it as 3B. So this is an alternative to NXT, and I'm going to call this MLT. And that's, again, an alternative to using the uh, noise exterminator. This is multi-scale linear transform in PixInsight. Click Save, and we are all done. And at this point, if you wanted to take this image, uh, the next step would be to put it into histogram transformation, which we've done with uh, the blur exterminator and that's the image that I'm going to be using for the rest of the processing is the one we did in blur exterminator again MLT this is a nice alternative um, ne nice alternative tool to have in PixInsight this is Steve Smith of the Spark Observatory and we will see you next time